the major indexes are now up on the day that is today the 17th of november 2023 and we have a few stocks that are either trending or uh very active one of them as you can see is uh, optx Scientec uh, optics holdings inc up 75.54 uh, percent the next one is uh, cris uh, curious is up at 21.83 Stranding. The next one is a GPS. I think it's a Gap. Gap up uh, twenty eight point uh, four six, and then the next one is a SAVE. Save Spirit Airlines up nineteen uh, nineteen point seven three percent, and then uh, AVGO uh, Broadcom up two point zero seven percent. So let's uh, uh, start from the beginning. OPTX. Uh, Scientec Optics Holdings Inc. Let's see what the news is. Top gainers. It says here, okay, also, as a matter of fact, at some point it was up 23%, adding to the previous session gain after the company said it uh, received its uh, first contract for at least uh, 20 biomedical optics to be delivered this year and an additional 2,400 in early 2024. Yeah, that's uh, what we're talking about here. And then uh, 9.987 million shares have uh, crossed the tape. This is the order book for the stock is it optionable okay optx is not optionable <clears throat> it's actually trending on uh, stock tweets okay let's see what's going on here we can see projections um market participants are betting on um, a move towards 11.5 dollars some are also betting on a move uh, towards uh, 5.5 5.5 54 so a couple of a wide range or a very a very a broad range of uh of uh bets or from uh, market participants let's have a look at uh, trading view and see what we have there optx optx okay this is the daily chart okay it's trading above all of its projections and it hasn't really gotten any the algos haven't recalculated of late so we will go to okay let's before we go to it much narrower chart let's look at the one week chart for OPTX okay it seems it hasn't been trading for a very long time as well okay but um, uh, let's see what uh, we can find on the 45 minute chart for OPTX okay on the 45 minute chart it's uh, we have some projections there so weakness is projected and there's um, it's just slightly below an upper a projection slightly below which is uh, 9.02 above that we have uh, 9.99 9.9 and uh, 10.99 all the way towards 14.27 uh, okay so <clears throat> there's no guarantee any of those will happen 8.39 is one as well we have uh, down here 7.77 uh, and um, 6.99 okay so Let's quickly move on to CRIX, CRIS, CRIS, Curious up to 1.32%. Let's see. Uh, Curious starts, uh, okay, it's, uh, it's got um, a new, it was just, um, okay, that's, well, some news, I guess, you know, up to 1.32%. Let's see what the projection is saying. C U I C U C R I S. This is a 45 minute chart. Let's look at the one day chart and see whether, whether there's anything there. A couple of projections. The most upper projection there is 15.71, straightening out at $7.2 right now. Okay, it's just also resting on uh, one of its projections, or just slightly above it, 7.2, uh, yes. And uh, weakness is projected, and then maybe after some time, by uh, Tuesday the 28th, some more strength is uh, projected on its 10-day moving average. There's a downward projection of 3.63 uh, and 1.66. Uh, yeah, let's um, quickly move on to GPS gap. Gap is um, yeah spiked majorly above uh, sp sp uh, um, um, rose above all of the moving average all the projections we have on uh, this uh, chart 
uh, the stock is uh, has a strong uh, strong is a, the underlying the underlying trend of the stock is a strongly bullish one, but um, the projections for its uh, 10-day moving average is uh, more of weakness. So there's uh, a you can call it a support as well, 15.4 a support of 15.45 is projected on this uh, daily chart. So let's see what the weekly chart is. Whether there are any further upper projections. There are no further upper projections on um, gap. Uh, let's go to one month. Whether there's anything there. Okay, on one on the one month, that's where you're gonna find uh, projections. Nine further projections. 19.68. Uh, 23 23.45 27.23 32.73 39.76 all the way towards uh, 59.68 uh, dollars let's see what uh, GPS is doing about 28 Okay, let's see whether there's any news here for Gap. Gap suggests as investors buy into ongoing turnaround efforts, shrugs off a weak uh, January Q3, Q, uh, January quarter guidance. Yeah, 56 point, definitely one of the most active, yes. Okay, so let's move on to Spirit Airli Airlines. Spirit Airlines, 20.52%. Uh, Probably not the most active, but uh, we'll see. Five, eight point nine five one million shares have crossed the tape. So let's see what the projections are saying for Spirit Airlines. This is the monthly chart. Strength is projected there. We have uh, sixteen point uh, fifteen point nine three, twenty one point one five, twenty four point one eight, all the way towards fifty point eight four. These are on the one month chart, the one week chart. Some strength is projected and that's expected to cool off a bit in the one week chart. So we have, uh, as for its uh, one week moving average, we have 14.18 proper projection. We have 15.43 uh, all the way towards uh, 26.68. And let's get the one day chart for Spirit Airlines. Yeah, strength is uh, projected. Very strong uh, strength is projected on its daily charts, all the way towards 17.15. Um, come 27th of November, come Monday, the 27th of November, then it might be projected to just cool off slightly as well at uh, 16.25. So there's an upper projection above where it is right now. There's uh, just slightly above where it is. We have 12.77. Uh, we have uh, 13.32 and 14.86 uh, let's see yeah up 20.07 percent uh, 20, 20 so let's look at uh, broadcom avgo avgo broadcom okay definitely not um okay definitely not um most active 1.171 million shares have crossed the tape very expensive, $981. So let's uh, look at uh, AVGO. Okay, strongly bullish as well. It has an upper projection of uh, $1,029.21. So, yeah, these are the, the stocks that are um, trending or either on the move. You can see the, the broader market is improving. So, I'll definitely continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.